and right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give our praises and our glory to Yahweh. Oh, Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Harakadash, the whole honor still. Our elders and the apostles of great news, so much will be well and salutations. Push this course, fellow, of the insincerity and truth. Right, these are two brothers from GMS Trinidad, Brother Howard and Brother Ahmad. Shalom. All right, and um, basically, our open forum, you know, we just want to touch a little bit on um, Psalm 41. Basically, it's a green line with it, right? So, with all food, I'll do this Psalm 41 and um, verse 4. It says, I said, Yahweh Hashem Shai be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. So, a lot of us, when we came inside of this truth, um, you have the Psalm 73, right? Mm -hmm. Right, um. I can't remember which verse it is around 22 or somebody until I came into the house of the Lord. 17. Right, because a lot of us, when we came inside of this truth, right, we get to realize who we are, we get to realize what is sin and we sin against the Lord greatly. Okay. All right, and hey, so we ask the Lord to be merciful unto us. All right, yeah, um, yeah, I yeah. think it's sanctuary until 17, I 17. Yeah, on a sanctuary. Go ahead. Um, Psalms, Psalms 73 and 17, it says, Until I, I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, Bashem Yahashai, then I understood their end. Right, then I understood their end. But guess what? We was once foolish being outside in this world. All right? And you see, um, when we come into the truth, that is the sanctuary of the Lord. Right? The Lord opened our eyes, gave us some spiritual eyes that we see. Who we are, who our enemy is, and everything that is actually going on in front of us. Because right now, even our enemies are setting up snares against us. They're going to make life hard for us, especially to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. During this time of plague, pandemics, they're, they're, they're slowly and surely bringing in draconian laws, and they're going to be spread throughout the whole world. Look like what's going on in Australia right now. Austria. You understand, and different parts of the world, other parts of the world going into a fort lockdown. Certain restrictions, I mean, it just overboard. You understand? So, Psalms 41 4, I said, We are how be merciful unto me, heal my soul for I sin against thee. Right? So, heal my soul, yes, help us to stop sinning because the wages of sin is death, and it will only carry us further from the most high. Verse 5, my, en my enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die? And his name perish. So that is what we're looking for. Right? The Edomite race, these so called um people from the parts of, of the Caucasus Mountain of Russia, right? And their dwelling places. They speak evil of us. They they call us all kind of things. They put pork in our food, they poison our water. You know, we want to know Lord when we fell upon this man, when his kingdom went and perish, and when shall he die? Mm -hmm. You understand? Um I'll read you. 21 and verse 4 as for me is my complaint a man and if it was so why should not my spirit be troubled you know yes yeah, so our complaint ain't a man and if it was so because the scripture say what vain is the help of man right and guess what if we go to complain who is the one we complaining to is the enemies because them in the one in power shocked yeah a lot of our people, they rise up, the scripture say, no man shall by thee, meaning what to save us, to redeem us. Martin Luther King tried, Ma Malcolm X, other men tried, Nocturna tried. Do you understand? It are people who try to play what the BLM, Black Lives Matter, or Black Panther movement, those things didn't work, we're still in captivity. You understand? So we would be troubled because if, if any one of our people, they say they rise up, they to say they're going and free our people, what's going to happen? They, they might go and wipe out the whole Negro race, the whole Israelite race. You have some? Yeah, you understand? So, yeah, vain is the help of man. That is why we have to wait upon the Lord. The scripture says, Wait here for me until I rise up to the break. Right? And the Lord, the Lord is coming to recompense tribulation to those that trouble us. You know, but our prayer will always be the same. Lord, when this, when, when you're going to take us out of here, when this man kingdom going to undone, when, when will these, these Edomites, when will they die? You know? Psalms 26, and, um, so, so like, yeah. 
and it, I'll, um, until again it'll continue here all right it says mark me and be astonished and lay your hand upon your mouth even when i remember i am afraid and trembling take it hold on my flesh wherefore do the wicked which is the house of esau wherefore do the wicked live become old ye are mighty in power who is the ones who, who run in the economy who is the ones in the builder book buildings the government who is the one planning people future right their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes because of what because of their wealth their houses are safe from fear because they are the ones who, who could hire security put up security system in their house and if somebody tried to break in guess what it's either the police or some or they have their own um hire security company to come and mash gas to come by the house and mm -hmm. you know who, who thing you understand it says um the houses are safe from fear neither is the rod of power upon them you understand like, but these people doing such wickedness and like lord when you finish you could get um mm -hmm. i think it's jeremiah 12 12 and when you finish with your piece yeah can these um psalm 52 and 1 it says why boast this thou thyself hmm. in mischief O mighty man for goodness of God endured continually. The tongue devised mischief like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and mm -hmm. lying rather than to speak righteous. Selah. Thou lovest all the devouring words, O thou this deceitful tongue. Mm -hmm. God shall likewise destroy thee hmm. forever. And he shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Ooh, ooh, hmm. Yeah. So the Lord will and do a, a number upon the children of um, Esau. Mm -hmm. You understand? But um, if you could, Baba Kosha, read from the top just a little bit again. Can. Um, this one it says, Why boastest thou thyself in mischief? Yeah. Oh, mighty man. Yeah, why boasted thyself in the strip? All these mandates that they push it. If all you take the, the jab jab rhythm, you know, this winner happened to all you, this winner happened to all you. Yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because all your nuclear capabilities and all these kind of things, all you all speak loftily of all yourself. Like, who could come against this great America, this great Babylon? Mm -hmm. You understand? But the Lord, Yahba Shem El Shai, right? He, he going and do a number, especially upon the US of the A. You understand? The United States of bitterness. Because that is all it is to the Negro man, bitterness. You understand? Well. Right, it says, The goodness of Yahweh enjoy continually. The tongue devised mischief. Yeah, and the, the goodness of Yahweh is towards the children of Israel. Um, Psalm 73, verse 1, surely the Musa is good to the children of Israel. Go ahead. Like a sharp razor woke it deceitfully. Mm -hmm. Thou lovest evil more than good. Yeah, thou lovest evil more than good. Look at all the constitution. Um, all the laws basically. What's it that mad laws? Mm -hmm. All the promoting abortions. Um, the the community, the alphabetical soup community, right? And all yeah. expect all the kingdom to stand. Look at the laws they implementing now. <laughs> if you have an amass, if you have an amass in a car. Hmm. You're getting 5,000 fine. That, that is evil, that evil towards the poor man. Um, depriving me of my full coat of oxygen. Exactly. He says, um, Thou lovest all um, devouring words, although deceitful tongue. Yeah, because what? The devouring words, it, it, it eating away at, at the, the right of the, the poor. As the brother was saying, because look at them, them same laws. I, I don't pour it. The, the kind of measures all they bring for. All right, for, for a man going inside a, a, a safe zone, who not a, what you call it, the amount of money he have to, to pay, boy. And you, a man do even see that in his salary. You understand? Marama. Treachery. You see, treachery and the same root wood is the same root wood for bitterness. <laughs> and sense of deceiving, fraud, craft, deceit, deceitfully, false, 
feign in guile, subtle treachery. Yeah, because you know you the one who actually push the plan the next day for your for your your NWO. Alright. So yeah. Okay. It goes on, it says um Come. It says the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. No, so like um a jumbi gandhi. Hmm. Um verse four it says the Verse hey, five it says that was by the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it says that uh, verse five it says God shall likewise destroy thee forever, he shall take um thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land forever. Sila. Yeah, the scripture is saying be there and there shall be none left in the house of his soul. You understand? When shall when shall he die? When shall he die? You understand? They can get Jeremiah 12. Okay. In book of Jeremiah chapter 12. And verse 1. It says, um, Righteous art thou, O Yahweh, when plead with thee. I plead with thee, yet like my talk with thee of thy judgment. Uh -huh. Therefore do it the do it the way of the wicked prosper. Mm -hmm. Wherefore do the way of the wicked prosper? So this is why um, the book of Job, he said what? Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of power upon them, because they're doing all this sin, but yet, it, it, like, Lord, I thought the city wages are sin is dead. I thought, you know, um, thing, but when you understand the scriptures, Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11, um, I'll bring it. Um, so, second is verse 6 and 5. About 60, 62, 62. Mm -hmm. Let's just say, um, same thing in more or less holy time. This is, um, Ecclesiastes 8 11. Because sentence again, that evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though his sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know. That it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh Bashem Shai, which fear before him. You know? So yeah, it be prolonged. You know, do all you do evil and all you sin a hundred times, you know. Hey, it the most I will punish all every scripture says, Shall thou go unpunished? Thou shall surely drink of the cup. And you're gonna drink of the cup and we can't wait for that day. You know, you have to serve your little slavery first, you know, because you're going into sleep, whether you like it or not. And then, yeah, it, it will have none left in the house from the from the head elite family Rothschilds coming straight down to the to the peasants of Esau. It ain't going on her um one um asking David said not one that left to piss on the wall. You understand? Hmm. Yeah, please, sir. Yeah, second verse six and sixty seven and fifty seven says and now O Yahweh behold these heathens which have ever been treated as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands hmm. if the world now be made for our sake why do we not possess the inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Yeah, how long shall this endure? You understand? So many of the prophets ask, Lord, how long? Um, how, how long shall this be, O oh Lord? You know? Even the apostles ask the Lord, Lord, will, will thou at this day um, return the, the kingdom to Israel? You know? Alright, so let me try to kind of um, speed it up. Yeah, there's something else. Um, two more precepts I have here. I don't know if you have anything else. Can we get now? Psalms 23. No, not Psalms 23. No. Um. Uh, it says, uh, by cast 7 and 8 and 9. Just not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, your house shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh Hashem Shai because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Right? So, hey, do 
you know, you see us as a people have done the low, the last in this, right? The base, all right? Guess what? The Lord will not exalt us, so we just bear the indignation of the Lord. But the Lord will soon come and take with the throne of the wicked and set up the righteous on that throne. So we're going to see the judgment of Yahweh and Shem and Shai, the justice of the Lord. All right? Yeah, Psalms 26, and I'll we'll start from verse 4. It says, I have not sat in the vein, sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with disassemblers. Yes, so we didn't make league and league with these evil men. That's how we separated ourselves from them. Yeah. It says, I have hated the congregation of evildoers hmm. and will not sit with the wicked. Yeah, so not even amongst our own people, too. too. We don't really um, affiliate with them, right? The brothers over here tend to know, connect with brothers, right? Well, it says, I will wash my hands in innocency. Hmm. So will I compass thine altar, O Yahweh, that I may publish with thee the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all the wondrous works. It says, I, it says um, Love I have, Lord, I have loved the inhabitants of thy house and the place where thou um, dwellest. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. And Isaiah scripture say, um, come out of whom my people, let's see the party of our, of our sins, you understand? So yeah, let us, because we don't want to, to suffer those ICBM nuclear missiles and be there with our uh, either mind when them thing hit. We want to be up with the, the congregation of the Lord, with the hopefully like the 144,000, praying that is a part of our number. Understand? It's Job 20, and um... Um, yeah, Job 20, verse 3, I have heard the, the check of my reproach and the spirit of my understanding causing me to answer. Nurse thou not this of old, mm -hmm. since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency mounts up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet I shall ascend like the eagle, he shall fly away as a dream, and um sorry yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yea he shall be chased away as a vision of the night yeah that he saw he saw when i get destroyed i will never have a either might and um we call it again like this 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 um we stayed away um people Mm -hmm. You know, he's doing the excellence, he mounted up in the heaven. He even come right back down. Right? To nothing, down, down to the ground. Where, where he be? <laughs> where, where he supposed where to he be? Where he supposed to be? In the dust. In the dust. You know? So the prosperity of the wicked is just for a short while. Yeah, that's Jacob, your child. Just for a short while. You're post, they're your kingdom, so you have to prosper. Lift it up, boy. Because when you shall die, you shall surely die. You shall surely die. Okay. So, yeah, with that, we give all praises and our glory to you. How are you? 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 We surely do well, Kali. It's a blessing to the men that put this for the sincerity and the truth. We are to buy from Jemesh Shinab and Alamara, but I was saying, Shalom. Shalom. What? about this place.